What's going on YouTube? Warstorm here. Today I'm going to bring you guys another match, the Team APS Community Tournament. This is going to be a Boss Mojo on the bottom playing Mermails versus NGA8 playing Mermails. Um, I won't have any guest commentary today due to the fact that it's a fairly, you know, short duel as you can see from the description box, but I believe Boss Mojo did choose to, uh, did go first because, you know, in Mermails, obviously, you know, NGA8, NG88 over on the top won the, uh, Rolls, so obviously, he's going to go ahead and uh, win the Rock, Paper, Scissors game, so Mojo's going to obviously get to go first. So, unfortunately for Mojo, I believe he only opened a set card and passed, and uh, NG is going to go ahead and activate the uh, one upstart. <laughs> And the, the thing about the problem that uh, Mojo has only opening one card is it's probably a sphere, you know. But I believe I've seen a little I have seen of his Mermel build. I know he does run the one sphere. And he's in a uh, oh wow, and G's gonna go ahead and get the Megalo online, pitching the lead and pitching the uh, Dragoon. So <laughs> that means he's gonna get to search out on Aptibus, and pretty much this could be game ending in this situation. And, he, and, uh, and G's gonna go ahead and resolve Dragoon's, uh, then resolve Megalo's effect to add the uh, Mizuki, most likely. The uh, spell card, the spell card that that is uh, negates spells, I believe. Which I'm not, which I'm not, I'm never. I understand why Mermel players choose the spell negator. It's a bit. Uh, he actually added a Cestus, so Cestus is an interesting card. So Cestus is basically just like the uh, Mizuki. What it does is its effect is basically. Um, what does it do? I believe it, it's the same except it negates traps, which is really good for Mermel's because Mermel's worst weakness is running into a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> Sorry. So he's gonna go ahead. Uh, Mojo's gonna go ahead and chain the sphere to the um, activation of the Cestus, so he can resolve it off. Because uh, and it resolves because sphere is chain link two before the Cestus gets to resolve its its effect, which is important. But that all and, the, and the, he's also gonna activate the Mizuki on it as well, which explains why he searched the Cestus. And, the, and, on, and on top of that, and yeah, they're going into game two. It's pretty much like I think Mojo kind of like knew at that point that it was going to be game. The interesting part of this is that well, I know a lot of players aren't really side decking for um, Mermel. So if, if I'm Mojo, I've lost game one. I'm obviously going to choose to go second. So some, so I'm curious to see what we do see, if anything, in the side. So it's one of the things is people forget Mermails exist, so they, they usually don't have anything in the side for them. Although I know Boss Mojo does main deck a, a Kaiju, a Gamma Seal, the Sea Turtle Kaiju, so it's going to be interesting to see if we do see any of those side deck cards come into play. And NG is going to have to go first this time, obviously, because um, Mojo is a... Because, uh, you know, Mermails, you always want to go... Oh, Mojo actually chose to go first. Wow. I don't know. If I, if I was playing Mermails, I definitely wouldn't have chosen. <laughs> and Mojo on top of that brick. <laughs> and, wow. NG opened Diva. <laughs> yeah. Must be nice. <laughs> That's just incredible. Um, we could see a quick 2-0 right here. Because the Neptibus is also going to get its effect as well. And I think we're in this game. We're also getting to see the reasons why um, Deep Sea Diva is currently <laughs> placed at one on the ban list for good reason. <laughs> I believe when the card was hit to one, it went to one because people just decided. I believe it went to one because it opened up so many dumb OTKs with Mega Low back in the day. Which Prince just facilitates a lot of those a lot easier. So the Mega Lows, he's going to go ahead and activate the Mega Low. Pitching the marksman to get the to clear the back row off the field, and the infantry as well. I thought that's really relevant in this particular situation. <laughs> it's a set of salvage. <laughs> that to talk about bricks. Like I think Evan would. I think uh, Slain Evan would probably feel bad about all these bricks in his hand. <laughs> I mean, I kudos to to Boz Mojo for actually playing this whole thing out because <laughs> unless he has something like a Minko or something, I, it's probably game. And then to, on top of that, he also, has, if you want, you can also synchro up here for um, with the Diva and the um, 
the, she's going to go ahead and sack the Neptibis with Megalos effect and bring back the uh, Dragoons, most likely. Oh, he's going to bring back the Marksman. Because the Marksman will grab another Neptibis from deck, and that'll pretty much be... Oh, wow, he's going... Okay, I guess he's going to Synchro Summon here. Huh. Probably going for an Armada... Or Chambar... Yeah, Chambar, so that, that's game. So it looks like that's game. Pretty quick match today, guys. So as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching the video today. I really appreciate it when you guys watch my videos. Tune on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And stay tuned for my matches, the Team APS Community Tournament.